see all kinds of cluster of boys. Go figuring out what we're doing. Use this one and then walking around on land again with my life jacket on. We've had another bunch show up. It's David and Kate. They'll be camping on land. Just been puttering around. See that boat off in the distance? That's uh, Deanne's Rose. And Roy and Deanne, they're, it looks like they're gonna head out now. And uh, I'm gonna join them. They'll, I don't know how fast they go. They'll probably go ahead, uh, ahead of the rest of us. We'll see. Here we go. Behind him is Jimmy, and then bringing up the rear over there is Frank. We've got a couple guys standing at the dock waiting for other people to show up, but uh, we're good for now. Passing a McGregor 25. Its name is Pig Nuts. <laughs> oh, you gotta have a sense of humor. Rocks and trees together there. All right, heading down that channel. There's two ways to go here. One is to the left, and the other is straight. And we're gonna go straight. It's shorter. The one to, if you go left, you can we'd be able to sail across, but it's probably an hour longer. That's the lake way out there above Jimmy. So yeah, let's do some sailing. I'll just be using the jib today. Uh, I'll be much faster than these guys with this wind. Got the head sail out. Here comes Kelly. Back there is uh, Jimmy Skunk. A couple of guys are up there. Art and uh, Frank. They were sailing. I'm just going to use the head sail because uh, I'm motoring along really well. And I'll be going a lot faster than that siren. And we don't want Jimmy to get lost. ahead of me is Cunningham Island and if you look over there those are windmills that's where that Harry Sound 33 fire was last year it started over there uh, those windmills weren't there last year so I'm just coming in through uh, you know it's a tight spot getting through here got a buoy there a buoy there a rock there a tree there another rock and another tree Looks like there's some campers over on uh, on Cunningham, which is fine. They're on this side. We'll be in the protected bay on the other side. Well, I hope Brian makes it across that uh, all right. Out there it's open to the, uh, the lake where the wind's coming this way and it's blowing right through. So we had some pretty good waves uh, or swells, I guess. So here's where we get up close and personal with some rocks. This is coming into Cunningham uh, Bay. There's somebody behind me. I don't know if you can see the rocks or not, but there's a bunch of them. And we're going to cut in through here. Hard starboard. That wasn't so bad. Jeez. With these polarized glasses, you can see the rocks. And the trees, too. You don't need the glasses for the trees. They're, they're kind of everywhere. Taking on water. 
we had a little uh, leak out of our water jug. It fell off of there onto the floor and busted the side. So now we've got a leaky water jug. That's all right. I lost that much water, so I've been scooping and sponging. That's a good opportunity to clean the floor. You wouldn't believe how much hair those girls leave. Holy, a white boat really shows up. With the amount of hair that they've left, you'd think I brought the cat. That's quite amazing. But, get it cleaned up. So I'm not worried about running out of water. That wasn't my only water tank. I filled the boat's tank, which is under the V-berth, which holds probably five, six times that. I would guess. I can't remember how much it actually holds. So, and I've also got another tank, uh, a blue tub that we used to use last year. Uh, but I brought it just in case. I want to try to do some modifications to the bathroom or the head. We'll see. I'm thinking about running the head off of lake water instead of using our fresh water, because that's quite a waste of fresh water. I can, I've also got an, a, a uh, MSR water purifi purifier. So if I really need water, I can pump it out of the lake. So we left the, uh, the town, Brit, at uh, 20 to 12, and now it's uh, two o'clock. So two hours, two hours, 20 minutes to get here. I've been playing around anchoring, so I might be a little off on my numbers. Something kind of funny. That boat is going through uh, Cunningham's channel and he's gonna be wondering how in the world a bunch of sailboats got in here. Because typically you can't get in here. I think that's great. <laughs> But those big boats uh, stay out in the deep water where they have to stay. Here we are. It's Cunningham Island. Or Cunningham Cove. That little boat in the background is Peter and his little tug. It used to be a sailboat. Uh, named Bumblebee. So. We've got some campers over there. I guess they're on kayaks. Uh, some in our group are camping as well. well it's good to see that Peter's made it. Uh, hope to see Brian and uh, Tom coming in pretty soon. And here comes Peter. <laughs> oh, what a cute little boat. There's Brian. Bobbing along. It's a mighty LOL. Epic. the fleet there's some of it some of the guys are on on shore Brian's boat there we go and I'm thinking okay I'm home but it was light wind I turn on the motor Hello. <laughs> I turn on the motor I motor sail a little bit and then magically what am I just uh, wandering around on Cunningham Island and hanging out with the Roy and the gang and Roy's little boat there want to build that boat you can go to roydesignthat.com get plans there oh, that's beautiful
nice breeze. Shadow's starting to get long. That means I gotta get in, start making some supper. Barbecue and some steak. Maybe some potatoes too. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Ah, this, uh, this sailing life is pretty tough. Wandering around these little beautiful islands. <laughs> no real plan. There is no real plan. Sure can do. Boys are new. Just hanging out on shore. That time of day. You see this? Those are uh, dragonflies. Look at those. <laughs> I think those dragonflies are saying that uh, the mosquitoes will be plentiful soon. I'm going to go back and get in the boat. Yeah. I'm back in the McGregor. Got the pop top up. I'm trying a different uh, bug screen technique. So we'll try this. I've got the screen over top of the pop top. And then the pop top cover over top of the screen. I've chosen to tape it in a few spots because of the wind. It's going to be kind of windy tonight. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we don't get lots of bugs. Um, and hopefully this works. Ideally I'd like a, a bug net that goes over the pop top. This is just a generic one for over a picnic table or something. We'll see. Maybe uh, make one in the future. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Please click the clicky things and uh, we'll see where we get to tomorrow. Wait, I didn't even talk to anybody about where we're going tomorrow. Let's see. Be a surprise. I don't care where we go. It's just nice being on a boat in the middle of nowhere. Ah, this is pretty nice. Swinging around on anchor. Anyways, if you don't do this or haven't tried this, get out and do it. It's a great time. Great right, Stan? Where'd you go, Stan? Oh, there he is. Jazzy. Say goodbye, Stan. No, really, say goodbye. Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Windows are a mess, but...